There, rear end is done. Nice. I welded this side way better than the other side. Now I just gotta put the drive shaft in and man, I think some of the undercar work is coming to an end. Now we get to the point where I realize I'm gonna have to reveal more than I really wanted to about what our plans are with the car. We are setting this thing up for autocrossing. We've got a really cool plan that we're gonna do with it. I put together a package of pretty interesting stuff that I think is gonna handle well without really busting the bank. And these bare brakes are part of that kit. And I had these brakes set up with the double drill bolt pattern. See the studs here are set up for the Chevy pattern and it's also drilled for Mopar or Ford pattern. It's got both. These brakes are not like the super, super killer road racy stuff that you can get from Bear. This is their line of smaller diameter brakes that are intended to run 15 inch wheels so that I can still do that if I want to, but they've got a lot more beef than the stock stuff. They're a lot more rigid, they're lighter, and look how thick that rotor is. That thing is not gonna warp. What I've got here is a full three inch exhaust system from TTI, which is the same company that makes the headers on this thing. I've put them on before, they fit really, really well, and I got it three inch so this thing would be good and loud and racy. And to save a few bucks and make it even louder, I got some of these mufflers. The TTI kits come with uh, like a Dynomax Hemi muffler. You can't see all the way through them like you can with these. And so, this is going to be loud. It's gonna be pretty sweet. Let me all take right, a look at I'm the... reinvigorated. I feel good about working till three in the morning. What did you say about three in the morning? Nothing. This is what we look like when we've taken a cleat to the nether regions after working for six days on this garbage because we have two major problems, one of which it overcharges so badly it's gonna blow up the battery. So that's a problem. Well, that's <laughs> a like simple fix, the volts. regulator. Hopefully that's a simple fix. The worst part is, watch this when Steve puts the car down. Ooh, coming down. Ooh, it looks so cool, but Boing. our lowering springs have completely collapsed the shock absorbers. There's no travel in them whatsoever. And they're sitting on the fuel lines over here and the brake lines over there. And when we take the shocks out, it's gonna sag even worse. These springs have just no rate to them. So we're gonna pick it up, put it on jack stands and put the stock leaf springs back in it for now. Okay, Steve, put her down. Oh, that's fixed. You got it right. Anyway, enough chit chat, Freiburger. Let's fire this pooch up. Let's do that. Stop. Something sounds way wrong. The lifters need to pump up. Oh, yeah, that's probably part of it. And uh, there's going to be a lot of exhaust leaks because they're just tech screwed together. Yeah, we got the exhaust system on last night, but not the tailpipes, and we just tech screwed it all together for speed, so it's going to have some ticking and stuff. I came here to eat ice cream, bacon, and drive fast cars. I'm out of ice cream and bacon. Okay, now we find out how the vanishing paint actually works. That was definitely first gear, I guess. 3 0 gear, right? It's 3 0s, yeah. I always like the smell of new engine, new spray paint, yeah. gasket sealer burning in. Yeah, it's really pleasant, isn't it? Oh, the front end alignment is awful. Really? Yeah. How's the power steering? Really good. I don't know why you'd want quicker ratio than stock. It's actually pretty quick. Oil pressure is 60 psi. That's pretty Hasn't awesome. It's overheated yet. That's a record for us. We're showing 12 volts on that voltmeter. 